Oh, how do that, chums? So, chums, I want to do another fishing video. And this time, I'm going to go for a frost biome. Now, the reason I've gone for a frost biome is I've been told that some of the frost fish might be bugged out. People are having great difficulties in finding some of them. Now, I've just come to one of my pre-existing bases and deleted it. Um, now, I'm going to find myself a nice little swathe of water or ocean and uh, build a little ice fishing hole base. Yeah, I've got an idea. I'm thinking as long as the water's deep enough, I should be able to do something a little bit sneaky. So I'm just gonna find a little bit of low land around by some lakes already. So you know what, this little island here might be a good test bed. Yeah, let's land here. It's not far from where I have my base, is it? And we'll touch on down. We'll take a look, see, see if um, this could work. Yeah, I think this could work. This this could work quite well, I think. And yeah, you got you got a nice little shallow area here, Coolio. All right, well let's uh, put down a base computer then. Check it out, and let's claim this base. And you know what? I, I'll build the base, and then I'll reconvene with you in a moment and show you my sneaky plan. Okay, chums, I was just trying my fishing hole, and um. <laughs> So basically what I've done is I've tunneled down using my terrain manipulator and made a nice fishing hole. This one's only 20 U's deep and I've caught myself a rare small fish, a rim scale snapper. And all I've done is put a little signpost up to say 20 U's deep. I need to test out the bigger holes to see if this actually works. When I actually cast in, I was looking to see if it actually plums the depth. And when I cast, there you go, it's coming up with 4.1 U's, but it's a lot deeper than that. So I don't think this is actually working, even though it's quite a sneaky plan. Maybe I need to dig it out a bit better or something. Let's um, make this as big as possible. Oops. But that's no longer going to be 20 U's though, is it? Ah! Whoopsie daisy. Maybe it's because not consistently 20. Look, I've got a hole there. And I've got a hole over here. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work, even though I, I thought it was quite a good sneaky idea. I don't think it's going to work because it's very difficult to dig out a hole that's the same size. But I thought that was a good idea, but it, I guess not. OK, right. So, um, you know what? Let's just fill this in then. Oh, well, maybe you guys can get it to work, but. I couldn't, I'll just restore this. You know what, let's just delete my base and let's just go somewhere else and start over. Let's start afresh, I think, people. Coolio. Yeah, that idea, as good as it is, I don't think I've got the skill level to pull that off. Yeah, chums, I decided to dive down and I managed to find a place that's 70 U's deep. So I've just put a base at the bottom of the ocean. Then what I'm thinking is if I just build a tower all the way up, it doesn't have to be like anything too amazing, just a freaking tower. So if I put a little base here, for example, and go all the way, all the way, all the way up to the top, hopefully I'm going to be able to just fish off the side of it. Or I might even be able to just stick my rod in the middle of the dang thing. Who knows? Okay, it stopped, stopped snapping for some reason. Hmm, strange. All right, well, let's uh, I guess put that on there then. And let's try putting one of these on top. Now it snaps. So if I delete that out, can I snap one in between? Yes, I can. Odd snap points, people. It's going to stop snapping in a moment again, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. There is a big fish swimming past, so... I'll just carry on building this up, and I'll let you know once I'm, I'm done. Okay, chums, well, this has worked out really well. Look, if I just put this on the water inside of this, it's registered at 77 years. I can actually fish all the way through this at 77 years. That's pretty darn freaking awesome. Okay, so let's see what fish I get. Let's see if this actually works. Let's see if I manage to catch something colossal or something large. Because technically, all I need to do now is, around this area, is find some slightly not so big points. I mean, they've got a medium-sized one there. But I could build a few of these. And this one could be, you know, 70. So I can put 70 on here. 
Let's get my decal. This is 70, so I'll just make that nice and large. Oops. I'll just put 7. And then we get the 0. Oh, wait, stop moving. Stop it. Okay, that's going to have to do. So we've got 70. That's my 70. And I can build a few more of these at um, different depths inside of this base area and hopefully catch fish of varying sizes. This is freaking awesome. Thank okay. you. Anyway, I'll reconvene when I've built some more. Okay, jumps. Well, there's one of my towers over there. You can just about see it. And then I found an even shallower area here, which is only about like five views or so. Nice and shallow. Let's let's. Uh, oh, I might have to put on one more layer on this one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Let's just put on one more then. Fun times. Come on, snap on. You know you want to. Dang you! Hmm. Okay. Uh. Well, I've put a moon pool on the floor. No. Yeah. What if I did put that on? Would that work? I can. And then if I put the moon pool floor between it, would that work? Let's uh put the moon pool floor there. Let's see if this actually registers. Because this would actually protect us against storms, wouldn't it? Okay, let's go in. Let's see if this works. I'm just beam. No, it causes a gravity well. I thought it would do that, to be fair. Dang it! Okay, righto. So we'd have to get rid of the moon pool. Right, I have to rethink this. Boom. And then I will put in another one of those. If I can find the dang thing. Where are you? Ba -da -ba -ba -bam. There it is. Okay, now it's actually snapped into place. Oh no, it hasn't. It's still under the water. Fudge! Oh, it keeps snapping there and then it stops. Alright, okay, hold on one second. Let's put that there. Then let's get another one of those, stick it on top, delete the middle, stick that in, and then delete the top. What a lot of faffing about! Okay, right, there we go. Now let's try my rod. Okay, it's, it's got the radial, I can see it. Plop! 16 years, it freaking worked! Okay, cool. So that would be like, well, I'll put a 15 on it, it's, it's roughly 15, which is fine. In my days. It's getting freaking cold. Stick that there. Fifteen years, that do. I mean it, it kind of is, kind of isn't, isn't it? It's, it's, it's around there anyway. That do. Right, so we've got our little this will be for small fish. The big one over there will be for large fish, and we just need something sort of in between for medium. So let's go into the water, and I'm going to need something that's about 40 U's deep, roughly. So we need to find somewhere on this ocean surface that's about 40 U's. Out here. Okay, let's see if we can get away with that. Hmm. Okay, ba 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 And about there. Okay, because if I swim to the bottom there, that's about 40 U's. Okay. Now let's uh, build this one up. So I've got my small fish, I've got my medium fish, and I've got my large fish, and that's all I need. But when it, you, you can't do the snap point, you have to stick this in. It's weird how you have to do this. Then stick that in. Then delete that one, and then you can stick it back in again. And then you've got your tube. Okay, cool. It just does it whenever it feels like it. It's so freaking random. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, swim on up. You do it again in a moment. Swim it on up. Swim it on up. Ah, oh, look, it's. Oh, has that one just broken the surface? Let's go and have a look. Heck yes, it has. Awesome. Right, now I just need my rod. There we go. Let's see what the depth is. 49. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, that'd do. That'd do. That'd do for our mediums. Okay, so here we go then. Let's, um, let's just stick that on as... I'll put it on as, like, what, 45 or something. Well, it's, it's kind of closer to 50, though, isn't it? So let's just do 50. Okay, here we go. And that's going to be where we get our medium fishes. Okay. So there you go, people. Three little stands. I need to find my base computer now, though, and upload this. There's my base computer down there. I'm going to upload it. And that's our three different size fish. Small, medium, and uh, large. And it was also enormous, really, within the large area. Cool. In the medium one, I am going to get a couple of larges. And inside the small, I will get a couple of mediums. So should work quite nicely. We should give this a decent name. All right, people, let me just name this, and I'll be right back. Right, oh, well, I've finished building my base. Now, what I've done is I've built this little tripod here that's got, like, um... A, a teleporter in there as well as a nutrient processor and a large refiner just in case just in case i need to do anything like sell some fish clear up some space all that sort of shenanigans or, or teleport to another base so there we go nice and easy to travel to and from and this is the the main hub so right in front of me is the medium one then we've got the small one over there and we've got the large one just over there let's go and catch the large fish first shall we let's go on heading over here and let's have a look so the large fish that i've got to catch let's have a quick look let's bring on up the old app bam bam oh i closed it darn one sec Okay, chums, so this is the No Man's Sky Assistant app. Now, this is in beta, so it's not available for everybody just yet, but you can see there's four fish for me to get. There's a glacial carp, a frozen knife jaw, and a frostbite ray, and an ice blood gulper. Now, these are all available day and night, so there's four of them to catch. Let's see how we get on then, shall we? Okay. Okay, yeah. boom. There you go, 77, use. I've got it on auto catch and we are on creative mode. So this should be quite relaxing. I have got a cup of tea to hand actually. So I'm going to drink some tea while we wait for this to catch a fish. Yummy. Oh, we've got a colossal one found in... Hold on. Did I look at large, not colossal? One second. Ah, colossal. Here we go. We got these four to catch. So the giant hairy crab, we just got that. We got that on our first one. We also have a black eyed shark, a nautila, which is a giant freaking snail. He looks cool, doesn't he? And a giant ice fin. I'd imagine the black eyed shark, he's a rare, he's a purple. Okay, all right. I uh, have to go back in. Once you click on a fish, you have to go all the way back out and all the way back in. The giant ice fin, he's uncommon. Okay, uncommon. Right, so biome, frozen, and colossal. Oh, the snail is the rare one on here. So let's see how we get on then, people. So it's colossal that we're going for. But we should get colossal and large from this hole as being, you know, quite readily available yes i made a chart i put the chart up on the screen so you can see that now so i kind of know what depths i'm going for and then with that app i kind of know what i'm fishing for it's like having a poker decks you know well, what do we have We've got something sweet it's a rare one and it's large it's a rare catch for frozen waters the frostbite ray Nice. Well, we just looked at that a moment ago when we was looking at large fish. So I'm actually completing two loads here, colossal and large, inside of this little ice hole. Very nice. Okay, well, we just caught the frozen knife jaw from the large sort of roster as well. 
we're doing pretty good at getting these frozen fish out of these holes. This is a freaking fantastic idea. You know, I thought my last base idea was a good idea, but this is this is even better. Thank you. Okay, we've got someone else on. Is it going to be large? Uncommon, medium sized. Okay, but it's it's limited to the frozen waters. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna rule that one out as a decent catch. Heck no. We're doing good. We just got the giant ice fin. It's the uncommon one. We've nearly got everything on large. We just need that snail. Heck yeah. We just got the black eyed shark. We got the black eyed shark. Heck yes. Extremely rare. Very cool. Awesome. Yeah. And again, like I said before, we need to get ourselves that, that snail. I'll let you know if I get him. Yeah, jumps just so I could see what I was doing up in a little bit of lighting as well. So. Makes it a little bit better at night, doesn't it? There you go. And now we can fish with some light. That's a lot better, actually, isn't it? Look at that. That's cool. Oh, my God. Those waves are mental. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Well, that's looking a lot better, anyhow. That's made it a little bit more pleasant. I'm going to do that on all the others as and when I start fishing those holes. Oh, nearly got him. This is mental. These waves are coming up super high. Come on. Come on, fishy. Ah, uh, is it the snail? It feels like a giant snail. No, nope, it's another black-eyed shark. Okay, cool you. Yeah. Even though we're fishing in a massive deep hole, we've actually just caught one of the rare small fish. That's, that's a turn up. I didn't expect that. You know, the small fish are extremely rare at this sort of depth. Or at least that's what I found on my swamp planet. But there we go. Very cool. Okay, we just got something interesting. We got the ghost fin. This is a legendary medium sized fish from my deep hole. But that's pretty darn freaking epic. It only comes to the surface in night and the sun has only just come up. That one might have been harder to catch than the snail. But this snail is proving somewhat elusive. Oops, I've cast. Oh no, it's still 75 views, I do. OK, Johns, well, I've only been fishing here for probably about, what, 40 minutes. Ivy's just come home, so I'm going to go and see her, see how she's getting on. But I've got quite a lot of frozen fish already from this little hole. That's that's not one. They can go over there. But we've got... Oh, let's move that there. We've got another frozen one here. Another frozen one. Frozen... Yeah, these are all frozen water fish so far. I'm actually doing pretty darn good. I reckon I am anyway. Got a couple of uncommons there. So, yeah, I'll reconvene in a moment. But, um, well, I'll reconvene tomorrow or later this evening if Ivy's busy doing something else. But uh, for now, I'm just going to go see how our day went, all that sort of shenanigans. But for you guys, it's going to be instantaneous. Power of editing and all. Well, chums, I'm back. And we've just caught ourselves a giant ice fin, which is a good start, I guess. Brilliant day. Go ahead, let's continue fishing at the 70 U's of depth that I'm at right now, or 77, and see what else I can pull out of my little icy hole. I guess. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I, let's, let's keep this one going for a second. Let's see what I get on the end of this hook right now. Come on. It's night time. Now, this uh, snail or whatever I'm after, you can... Uh, it can appear at night or day. So let's just hope that we get said snail. Come on. Here we go. Finally on. We've got a starfish. All right. Cool. I'll reconvene if we get something interesting. Well, we've just got ourselves another black-eyed shark. I say another because we've got quite a lot at the moment. We've got four of them. So these are my colossals over here. These are my larges here. So we've got two larges so far. They're quite cool. And then medium size, I've got a couple there. And, oh, I need to get rid of that one. Move that one down there. But yeah, got a couple of smalls here already. What I've not got a lot of is commons. So I'll have to have a look when we bring up Kurt's app to see if there's many common fish. Because if there are, I might have to fish in some of the other holes with, like, mealworms. I've already caught the crab, which is a common inside of here. So that's all cool. Okay, we just caught ourselves another colossal giant ice fin. Okay, cool. Well, it's not the snail we're after. We've got a brine skipper. It's medium sized. Lovely, Chubbly. Well, um, let's have a look, see. Moon's. Oh, we already had one. We already had one. I was getting a little bit excited, even though it's a, you know, an uncommon. 
Well, I've just managed to hook myself another rare. But it's a small out of a big hole. Um, okay, let's have a look see if we already had one of those. We did. We've got three of them. So, although I'm fishing this really deep hole, I am getting quite a few mixed-sized fish, but I suppose that's... Yeah, that's, that's that's to be said, isn't it, really? You know? Oh, and I've just caught a common medium-sized fish, which is frozen water. So that's going to count, isn't it? Let's have a look-see. Yes! I'm going to move that with my other mediums. There we go. So if there are, like, only four or five fish per, sort of, like, size, I've already got two larges. I've got three common, um, colossals. I've got three on the medium, and I've got three... I've got four on the small. Holy fudge. Oh, no. That one's across the galaxy. Darn it. All right. Go over there, you. I'll stick you up there instead. Okay, cool. We're doing quite good. Hmm. Rust shell clam. Small. Uncommon. Have I already got one of these? Let's have a look. I don't think I do. No, I don't. So now I've definitely got four from Frostworld, including the clam. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, I need to move all these or get rid of them, really, don't I? Let's stick that one over there. Oh, no. Whoops, it, whoops, it. I just want to make it a little bit tidier. I mean, I could scroll down and put them further down, couldn't I, to be fair? Yeah, let's move them away. So I don't get confused with them later. Anyway, I'll deal with this. Well, chums, this turtle can only be caught in a storm and it's icy frozen waters. That one, I think, would have been a really hard one to catch. So, yeah, and it's medium sized, so it needs to go in my medium batch. I think I might have already caught all the medium sized fish, but we'll see when we get to the medium hole. Yeah, a storm hit. I actually fell into my actual swimming and um, into my little fishy hole. It's the first time that's happened. And let's um let's carry on fishing then. I don't think I've got a frozen jaw knife already, and this is in my large area. Let's have a look see. Have I got frozen jaw knife? Oh I bloody do. Okay, coolio! Alright, well we've got another one. Okay. A Ford Diamond Fin. Only found in daylight areas, in frozy waters. I don't think I've got one of these. And this is medium sized. Let's have a quick look, see. Uh, oh, actually, I do. We've now got two of them. But that is a, quite a rarity to be caught. I guess it is. Very cool. Dumbs, I've caught another dragonfish. I mean, that is a pretty awesome legendary fish. Labels as king of the sea. Freaking awesome. Awesome fish. I wish we had the models for these. I wish we could put them in aquariums. I say it every episode. I, uh, I'd have a couple of those in my tank now. I've got two of them. Well, gems, I just caught a frozen whelk. And it's a small and it's on frozen whelks. I thought I already had one. That's added over there. And the reason I thought I already had one is because we've already got this one. We've got a frost shell clam. But this one also counts. That's pretty darn freaking epic, I guess. If I move that over there, actually. I can move this into there. There we go. We've got six smalls now. Four. Mm, medium. Only two large, though. That's where I'm going to have to refish. And I'm still waiting on this blasted, mahoosive, bloody snail. The one I'm after is Nortilia. Legendary fish. There you go. And right up is, none would believe the scale of this beast. Its colossal shell, its enormous slimy foot. None except those who have seen it. Well, I haven't bloody seen it yet, have I? Come on, be it. Fingers crossed. Be Nautilia. You're not Nautilia. Dang you, blasted shrimp of evil. I've gone and done it. I've caught him. I'm caught Nautilia. I'll say here, I'm sorry to assume your gender, Mr. Mrs. Snail. Yes, awesome. I've caught one. Heck yes, splinter. I can move on to the next hole now. <laughs> cool. Well, that's all the colossal ones corticated, all four of them. Right, okay. Where's the next hole? It's over there. We're heading over to the large fishing hole, which is a set at 50 U's. Now, I could do with adorning this with some lighting, couldn't I? So, yep, yeah, leave it with me. I'll stick on some lights and then we'll start fishing. Now, what I'm doing is I'm going by the markings on this thing and putting the lights where the markings end sort of stuff. So, yeah, 
and I'm using the same light just to keep it a little bit consistent looking. I think it looks all right and that's given me a decent amount of light. I don't think I need to bother with the floor lights that I had before or the other pokey uppy ones. I think this is more than enough and it's looking a little bit like an oil rig. I'm actually liking this base quite a lot even though it's quite simple. Pretty damn freaking epic. Right let's get fishing. Right guess I aim for the hole. We're still using the bionic law and then it goes. I better have a look at what large fish I have to catch because if there's a common one I should be using mealworms. Okay chums now there are four here and they're all under large. A glacial carp, a frostbite ray, a frozen knife. I just got that one. <laughs> I've already got it though I think. And an ice blood gulper. The ice gold blow, blow, glow, whatever, gulper is freaking legendary, mate. Yeah. Right. A heart that beats once per hour. A heart that sees faster life spawn and die. Spawn and die, spawn and die. This thing doesn't live long, basically. All right. Okay. It spawns and dies. Ice blood gulper. All right. Fine. And the other one that I don't have right now, uh, Frozen World, and I want to go for large, is the Glacier Carp. That's the other one I don't have. And it is common. That's actually green, but because of my green screen, you can't see the green. It's, it's a common fish. So, yeah. Before I catch a legendary, I'm going to swap the bait out and make sure that I've caught the common. So here we go. Let's take the Bionic Lore off. And let's put the mealworms on. I'm going to catch all sorts of common crud with this. Let's see if I can get the glacial carp. Because I don't have it already, do I? Uh, what is it? Large. Nope. Oh, let's move him over there, though. Kaboom. Yeah, it's going to be somewhere around... Uh, yeah, it's going to be a large one. We'll see if we get him. Come on. Be him. Be him. Be him on my first catch. You know you want to. Go on. Go on, No Man's Sky Gods. Oh, there's no... It's a common though, so we're in the right sort of picking order and we're at the right depth to catch large and medium fish right now, so let's see what we get. So I am getting large, I'm getting large out of this hole, medium and large. Getting more medium than large so far. I mean I've netted what, probably about five fish and I'd say four of those have been medium and one has been large so far. Right, well, I noticed that my depth was only at 49 ewes, even though it was at 50 yesterday. <laughs> so I went down into the hole and used my terrain manipulator and made it just a teeny bit deeper. So now hopefully that's going to increase my large catch because I'm just casting over. There you go. I'm on 55 ewes deep. It says the depth down in the bottom corner. Now I'm having people in my comments saying that they don't see the depth. Make sure your HUD's turned on or something, but... I'm seeing it, so I, I don't know why you wouldn't be. It's an oddity. Hey, jumps. I'm getting quite a lot of uncommon fish. And I, I even just got a, a rare one, like a purple one, a momentarily ago. So you know what? I'm going to do something a little bit odd. I'm going to take the bait off. Because that gives you a 20% rarity charge. Now I've got freaking nothing on the line. I might dredge up a few old bits of technology, but I need to catch those anyway. Welly boots the whole lot, so you know, I'm going to do a bit of dredging. Hopefully, this is going to give me the lowest of the lowest of fish. And hopefully, I get it. Come on, be it. Still caught an uncommon. <laughs> what the? <laughs> it really is random numbers. They need to tighten up the bands. You know, we know the depth, we know where the fish are technically, and we know the sort of baits we should be using. But they, they should fine tune it got no bait on i just caught a colossal i just let's just see what i mean i need to fine tune this the only thing i should be picking up is freaking flotsam and common fish if you haven't got bait on all right the, 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 narrow the band is what i'm saying Alec. this is like throwing out a, a freaking giant dredging net oh well, there we go we've got a common cool but it's medium size okay fair enough well i'm fishing in quite a deep spot cool I'm catching exactly the same fish as I was catching with bloody mealworms. That's what made me think twice about taking the bait off the hook. I was catching one of these rare freaking git bags. Well, I don't know. Narrow the banding a bit. Yes. 
I should only be catching common fish and flotsam, in my opinion. With no bait. Yes! We've got some flotsam! We've got some tangleweed! Yeah, cool, yo. There we go. At least if I'm fishing for common fish, there's a good chance I can fill up my catalogue with the things of flotsam. You know, I've still got some old coral or dead coral to get, welly boots, uh, old technologies, all sorts. So, yeah, good to catch a bit of flotsam. Got a kelp strand! We got yeah, this is good, this is good. I don't mind catching these, don't mind catching these, as long as I get the odd common fish alongside it. Goody goody gun drops. Catching an A class or a uncommon fish with no bait is just a little bit weird in my opinion. Okay, well we just got a common and it's large. Just not in frozen waters. It's not the one we're after. Heck no, it's not. Just a reminder people, we are after the glacier carp. It's common, it's large, it should be in this freaking hole. Come on, little carpy. Bless your carp. I summon thee. Let's see if that worked. I'm not very good at magic and summoning, but we'll see what happens. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, we just got the colossal giant hairy crab. Colossal. One size too big. Okay, cool. We got an old boot! We're doing well on the flotsam now, people. We're freaking cooking on gats on flotsam. Yes! Coolio. Got some tangleweed again. I think we've already got tangleweed. I think we've already got that. Okay, cool. Okay, chums. Well, the glacial carp is still eluding me. A large aquatic creature found in the icy frozen waters, typically found in deep water, which I'm in, is a relatively common catch. There it right is. I can see that there's a few others here to get. Cool, yeah? Uncommon pale snow towel. Only caught in a storm, though. Medium size. That's going to be a hard catch. Okay. Cool. Let's get back to it. Comes. I got him. I got him with no bait at 55 views. There you go. Large aquatic creature found in the icy frozen waters, typically found in deep water. This is a relatively common catch. We have the glacial carp. We have him. So at this point, I can just now go back into the baits. Boom. We're going to be putting back on this little hopper. Might as well use the 53 we've got sitting there. Might not. And uh, we're going to cast out. We're hopefully, hopefully at 56 views. Hopefully we're going to catch the larger one, which was the blood worm thing. I can't remember what it was blinking called now. Let's just go back. Uh, frozen and size large. That's not what I was after. That's a moon turtle. We want the ice blood gulper. That's the only one I've got to get at large now. The ice blood gulper, though, is actually legendary. He's going to be a git to catch. Yes, a very weird git. Cool. We got a legendary. I got excited for a heartbeat. Ha! <laughs> it's the lurker. I've already got one. They're cool though, aren't they? Comes. I just caught the singing sea snail, which is a legendary. And he's a freaking awesome legendary. I needed that one. I think that's the one that was a blank inside of my catalogue. Heck yes. Okay, let's go and have a quick look. Wonders. Fishing records. Yes, I've got the singing sea snail. Somebody in my comments did let me know that it was a singing sea snail I was missing. I actually caught that on my PC saves. Uh, nice. Joined the expedition. Freaking awesome. So over on the frost creatures, I've still got quite a few to unlock. And yeah, I'm going to have to be looking at those. And... One of these ghost fin. Okay, cool. I caught that one. That's good. Right out. So back to it, people. Okay, so ones that I'm missing at medium, I've pretty much got everything. I've got the midnight oil. Yeah. I've got the Ford. I've got the turtle. I've got the ghost fin. And I've got the uncommon. What it's saying I haven't got is the pale snow tail. The pale snow tail is just uncommon. So there's a good chance I might even net that while I'm fishing. It doesn't say storm or anything like that. So hopefully it might come up. But I'm sure in my catalogue, isn't it? Say I've already got one. Let me have a look. Catalogue wonders, fishing records, go across to ice. 
no that's the one i'm trying to catch medium sized the only thing is medium sized i think i should fish over the side i'm actually after a large at the moment aren't i so what large one am i after let's get for large by um frozen i'm still after the ice blood gulper and it's a legendary and it's at large okay let's see if we get him i'll let you know if i get lucky okay i'm going to try a little experiment now a few people now have said to me captain steve if you actually fish with an a-class fish it actually gives you a much higher chance of catching a legendary fish okay so i have actually got a few a-class fish that i've got quite a high count of like this guy okay we've got we've got 11 of them and it's not frost orientated so i'm not bothered about losing it let's see how we get on let's see if there's any truth to this hold on i didn't actually see what the plus rate was there for the bait it's going to give me rarity catch improvement apparently of 33 percent and catch size improvement of 26 percent that's what it's saying behind me here you go i'll just move myself out of the way so you can actually see that that's the stats that it's given let's give it a go then happy chow go on colossal shrimp catch me a legendary let's see if this works I give this go. I mean, we've already lost one. We're down to ten now. Let's see what we get. Let's see if we get a legendary off the back of this. Come on. We've got a colossal uncommon, so it's gone down a step. Let's continue on. Let's see how we get on with this. I caught a colossal shrimp with a colossal shrimp. What the? Okay, that's just cannibalism, isn't it? <laughs> Imagine what? Put the uncommon glacial carp on it. <laughs> I, I haven't caught many legendaries. I've only got six left. Not a single legendary yet. I don't know whether there's any truth to that fishing tale. Just like fishing, isn't it? You get all these tall tales. Oh, yes, I caught a massive carp. And I only used bread that I soaked in some uh, sweet corn puree. <laughs> uh. And another fish tale that I've been told is why don't you just spin your legendary fish into legendary bait inside of your neutral processor yeah you don't get s class or legendary bait you just get the sort of turquoisey bluey sort of colored tiles no matter what you put in your neutral processor you're going to be losing loads of value if you do that loads um you can't make a legendary bait or if you can i don't know of it I've searched the whole of the No Man's Sky Assistant app and I'm not finding any legendary baits. So if you have got the name of a legendary bait or a bait that does catch you more legendary fish, sound off in the comments. Let me know. I know that Good Guys Free has put out a little spreadsheet that he's trying to update. However, when you look at the latest patch notes from Hello Games, it says fixed a load of cooking recipes and their catch amounts. And that's in the latest experimentally branchy type update going out soon to everyone. So, good guys free, your spreadsheet might need a bit of tweaking. You might have to re-go over your figures, depending on how big this tweak is. It's a shame that they don't go into more detail on patch notes. Right, well, it's my last cast, so I may as well cast with you guys. Oh, okay, no, actually, we've got two baits left. We've got two baits left, but they're probably going to go on this last catching of fish let's see if we get a legendary off the back of these a-class shrimp we've already lost one we're down to our last a-class shrimp come on take the bait you little get bag go on be a legendary prove my comments section has come on to something you know that would be one in like 11 really or one in 10 we might as well say as odd wise nope we got another uncommon it didn't quite work okay we've got one we've got one left somehow so we'll go with that Come on, come on, we might as well use up all the bait. Come on, little fishy, come on, little fishy, on my little dishy, when the boat comes in. Come on! Okay, we're out of bait now. I think it's still going to register that we're using a shrimp, though. I think. I hope. Come on! It looks like a large fish from the hologram. It could even be colossal, actually. Let's see. Let's see what we get. Now what I'm after is that large fish, the blood soak. Mm, we didn't get it. I'm going to go back to what I was using. 
Now I have spun up a load of bait using the fish that I'm not using. So we've got a couple of baits that I am tempted to try at some point. We've got the assorted row. When I put the assorted row in, here you go, I'll just come off of here for a second. The assorted row attracts storm loving fish and it gives an extra 24% on rarity. What else have we got? We have got the salty platter. This one I think is probably the best. Gives 53% on catch rarity. Attracts nocturnal fish. So if I've ever got like a legendary nighttime fish to catch and it's nighttime, I think I might use that. Yeah. Okay. Next off, the last one is the Seas Bounty. Now that takes quite a lot to make that, but it only gives you the catch rarity of 39% and catch size improvement 24%. I'm wondering whether it's these that Hello Games is on about in the patch notes that they've tweaked. Because there's no point in making these super baits using all your freaking fish if they don't do nothing in helping you catch legendary fish. I'm hoping that's the case, people. I'm hoping that Hello Games are tweaking those ones and not the ones that Good Guys Free has been working on on his spreadsheet, but we shall see. I'll send Good Guys Free this video at the end of this and uh, point them at the patch notes. I kind of wish that on the holograms of the fish appear, I kind of wish that if it was a legendary, the actual hologram was yellow or something, you know? That could be quite cool. If it was common, maybe they could be green. If it's uncommon, maybe they could be blue. Just to give you an idea of what's swimming around on the baits that you cast out as well, you know? The chance pool. If they made the holograms the colours of the types of fish that were swarming it, that might help a little bit more in understanding fishing on a deeper level. Maybe they could implement a piece of fishing kit, some sort of bait finder that does that, or fish finder that does that, that changes the holograms to the different colours of the types of fish that are swimming around. Hello Games, if you're listening, that could be a nice welcome addition. We just caught a legendary. It's not the legendary I'm after. Heck no. It's the golden jellied fish. And um, yeah, as cool as it is, I've got quite a lot of these now. Okay, chums, I'm going to give you the actual portal code for this planet. If you want to come and fish these fishing holes at my fishing base, you're more than welcome to. Now, what I would ask, though, this is in the Euclid system. Please build a long distance away from my base. Don't put any bases near my base, um, mainly because of... I'm hoping other people can come and visit here without any sort of loading issues. Not that my base is complex, but if you build something complex, it could upset this, is what I'm thinking, people. So build far away. Call it. Anyway, there you go, peeps. In fact, probably best not to even build here at all. And then that way, no issues. But come along and fish the holes. Look okay. it. Or if you do build here, maybe build something different. Well, something similar to this. But different size depths, maybe do one at 60 use, maybe do one at like 90 because you could dig a little deeper. You know, see how you get on, experiment. If you build, build a base, build it something similar to this, because then wherever people go, they're going to find these fishing holes all over this planet. Heck yeah, I'll be up for that. Build those all over the place and do them at all different depths. Sweet. Got you. Oh, just as a heads up, people, there is actually two other planets in this system that have got water that I have not yet fished. So if you do want to come and put you know, bases down, you can always explore these other planets. They might have better fishing conditions. Cool. Anyway, I'll cause it the fishing frozen system and the ice fishing holes planet. Go. Cool. Be good to see you here, to be honest, people. Come and build. Oh, chums, I've caught a legendary. It's the ghost fin. I think I've already got the ghost fin. So there's what it is, isn't it? Okay, people. Well, um, yeah, not bad, not bad as the catch goes though. But yeah, so let's just, just double check I have actually got the ghost fin. I mean, yeah, now I've got two of them. I thought so. Oh, chums, I didn't realise, but my bionic bait is out. Okay, so I've, I've been doing this for at least 40 bait, baits then. That's that's insane, isn't it? Okay, well, let's, uh, let's get some more bionic bait on the bake. There we are, boom. Chicka pow! I'm back here. Okay, chums. Now, what has felt like a freaking lifetime? I've managed to catch. Oh, it's a dragonfish. I thought it was it. I thought it was the blood. Oh, fudge. Okay, because it's large oh, and it's legendary and it looks. It's got the same freaking icon, hasn't it? 
Darn your dragonfish! Oh, no! Okay, back at it. <laughs> Disappointment, but at the same time, it's still a cool fish. Now we've got it. This is the right one. Ice Blood Gulper. Yeah, that dragonfish has got the same icon, apart from it's just not as blue. But we've got him. We freaking got him. That guess we got him. So that means we can move now onto the medium stack because we've caught everything inside of large. Oh, that's so cool. We got him. Yeah, large. Uh, we're sticking with the other large fish just there. Cool. Excellent. So we've got all of our large fish. Why has it moved some of... Oh, yeah, yeah, that can go there. Cool. Brilliant. So we've got all of our large ones all done. So now we're moving on to our medium stack. Let's uh, stick them with that back down there. I've already caught another six of those after fishing with them. Just goes to show how much fishing I'm doing, you know. I might as well move that over there. And we've only got one more to catch in this area. And now it's an S-class and it's medium sized. Now, I've been catching medium fish quite a lot inside this hole. Obviously not that one in question. If I cast off the side of here, I think that's going to be around about the 40, yeah, 45 views. And imagine we're going to catch more medium fish just off the side of this one. So I might just do a bit of fishing off the side of here and see if we can catch it. Uh, you're probably wondering what the fish is. So let's have a quick look. See, while we're trying to hook one. Uh, ba -ba -bam. Sweet. It's not that one. OK, so by frozen and just uh, cast that back out just in case we get it and we're going for medium sized right well which one am i missing it's the pale snow tail that i'm missing it's uncommon okay so it's not it's not that and it's just medium sized it can be caught day or night and the trouble is is it doesn't really give it much of a write-up here so i can't really tell much from it okay so we just got a a medium sized freaking octopus there if i go into my discoveries no into my catalog wonders fishing records and over to the snow tail which is just there ah it can only be caught in a storm righto and because it's it's not rare you know what I'm just going to put on the storm bait then and fish with it the whole time because sometimes it increases the chance of you catching a storm fish even when there isn't a storm happening is what I've found so here you go look attract storm loving fish and its rarity catch is 24% it's perfect bait for the fish that I'm after wish me luck people hopefully we catch this guy quite quickly Okay, chums, what I was saying about this bait actually attracts storm fish even when there's not a storm on. I think you need a mild storm at the very least because I haven't caught a single storm fish. And as you can see here, I've used nearly 15 of them now. And I haven't caught a single fish that says storm related. So what I might do is move over to the small pond, wait until there's a storm and jump back over here and fish for it then. So I'm not wasting too much time because right now I think I might be wasting time. Let's just see if this is a storm fish, but I've used 15 of the baits now. Not caught a single storm fish. I don't think the odds are very good. Yeah, it's catching night fish, but that's about it. So you know what? Uh, let's go on over to the next little bay. So it's not that one. That's the big one. It is that one over there. Meow. And I think the last fish that I need to catch here in the small area is actually a legendary let me just double check fishing records all the way over to the frozen section that's the that's the one we need to catch in the storm that's medium sized and this is the small one here i think no shadow fin no that's not it it's this one here whatever this one here is let's find out Okay, chums, it is called the Crystal Jellyfish. It's a legendary fish, and it's small. It says, a living snowflake, frozen solid, yet still alive. Its tentacles, fractal recrusions or something. But what it doesn't say is whether it's in a storm. 
you know. And because I can't see it here, I can't tell whether that one's storm related either. So I guess we're just going to have to chance it. And I need to put some lighting on the side of this one. Won't be a moment. Okay, I'll wait for a bit of a more of a nighty vibe on this one and put down all these little firefly lanterns. So it gives me like a pulsating light. I think it's quite nice. Quite nice for ambiency. Anyway, let's uh, head on over into here. Let's go into the old hook. Take the storm one off. Put this guy back on. We're on 475. Let's see how long it takes me to catch a tiny snowflake jellyfish inside of this hole. <laughs> there we go. We got uh, 16 on the depth. I know I put 15 on there, but it's fine. Should be good for small fish. All right. Wish me luck, people. I'll be back again in a moment. In fact, I might just reel in this one fish and see if we get lucky. Come on. Wouldn't it be cool if that was the snowflake jellyfish on the first cast? It's not going to be because my luck... I don't really have luck, per se, in, in the old No Man's Sky. I don't think I've ever managed to get an S-class anything first try. No, nope, there we go. But it's small, though, so we're in the right sort of depth. So we'll just continue fishing. See you in a bit, people. OK, chums, I've nearly casted 80 times with this bionic law into this hole to try and catch this small snowflake jellyfish. I'm not having any joy. I've got loads of small fish, but not that one. I've tried to turn it back on to normal mode so I get the conditions to see how frequent the storms are on this planet. And the whole time that I've been casting, there hasn't been a decent storm. I've seen two storms the whole time that I've been here, and I didn't take advantage of them when they rolled around. I'm wondering whether I need to go to an icy stormy planet to find this ice jellyfish and also this snow fin tail one that I haven't caught yet, this medium. There's just not a lot of storms on this planet, people. Well, I've swapped back to this Magna Pulse law just to see whether I can catch stormfish, even though there's no storm. I mean, my, my thermal protection's still going down, but it's, it's not storm levels, you know what I mean? But let's just see if I get any luck with this for a bit. I don't think we can do. I think I'm going to need to go to a storm ice planet. Comes, I've gone looking for a storm planet that's um, also frost crystal so what I'm going to do is just jump a little way away from my base one that's down there I'm going to jump over to this sort of area here and if I don't find a frost world I mean look at that one that one's got one two three four planets hopefully it's got the chance of having a frost world I don't think any of those are moons either so hopefully yeah now once I've jumped system I'm just using this bit of kit up here that I got from the technology for freighters to scan the area and it comes back there we go we've got a star bulb world there ah frost crystal but what it hasn't got is activated or magnetized there so that one is not going to have storms at a regular frequency okay so the search continues but that's how i'm finding these planets We've found one, people. So we're going to go to this one. It's the ringed planet. And look, it's got magnetized ferrite. So it's going to have extreme storms. It's the only planet in this system that has water. It's inside of the 905, which is cool. I'm going to go check this out. So let's go and have a look at the ringed planet. It actually looks like it's got a storm right now. Let's just go break the cloud layer. It looks more blue over this way. I don't know whether that's ground or whether that's the oceans. It's got very strangely coloured grass. Uh, let's see. OK, I think we just got lucky. I think we've hit water. I think. OK, now we just need to find an area of water that's got multiple depths. OK, leave it with me, people. I'm probably going to have to make a very similar sort of base to what I had before. Is this a storm right now? It is. OK, you know what? Let's just um, let's just risk it for a biscuit. We've already got the storm one on. Let's just freaking cast and see if we catch anything cool. I mean, it's 38 U's, so that's about mid depth. We might get lucky and catch the medium fish. We'll see. Come on, go on, little fishy. You know you want to. As you can see here, that storm is battering my hazard protection. I might put it back into creative mode in a bit. I did put it on so we could see when a storm was happening, really. Earlier, oh, yeah. let's see what we get on our first cast. We got it. We got the pale snow towel. First freaking cast, people. First cast. We got it. 
So now what I need to do is find myself a nice little shallow pond and we're going for the other one because I've got a funny feeling that that legendary might also be a uh, a storm fish. It's just that the No Man's Sky Assistant app at the moment doesn't say whether it is or isn't. I'm going to cast out using the Bionic Law during a storm because this has got a higher chance of catching a legendary and we know that the one that is out there to catch is a legendary. This is a bit too deep though. This is 45 deep. Really I want to be around the 20 mark, 15 to 20 mark for small fish or even shallower than that. So we'll see what we get. Okay, I might just move location quickly people and uh, put this into creative mode. Sweet. Some difficulty and creative and what I might do is just make a specific base for catching these two fish so if I can find a little island usually it's a bit shallower next to the island so let's have a look around okay chums this little island looks perfect because over here you've got a sheer drop that is let's see how deep that is that's 44 so that's perfect for like medium fish and over this side it's got a slight incline so I could just cast very close to the edge right here and we've got ourselves six U's <laughs> so I might just put a little base here because you know it's perfect for catching medium and small storm fish cool well, let's just see what we get anyway I mean it's not a storm right now so I don't think I'm going to get what I'm after I think that legendary might be small in a storm is what I'm thinking I just don't think the No Man's Sky system app right now shows storm data huh he escaped oh yeah because I just changed my um, mode all right well I think this is a perfect place to put a base so let's uh, stick down this and uh, yeah I'll be right back with you in a moment okay now chums because this is actually a storm planet I've still used the same method I had to put a ladder in there to fish down and yeah I've just got one of those cylinders underneath and I've put it a biodome over the top so I don't get affected by the storm and there we go crystal jellyfish we've now completed it we've done every single fish people every single fish for the frozen landscapes has been done I'm just going to carry on building a little bit of a base here put a teleporter in stuff like that make it functional and um, I'll give you guys a portal code so if you do come here you can catch these fish quite quickly. I mean, there's nothing to stop you from using this, maybe, to, uh, you know, catch all the fish, to be fair. I'll put in some others at other depths as well. So it's up to you. You can either have a nice, peaceful, tranquil jaunt and catch all the fish bar these two, then come to this planet to catch these two. All right, people. Well, there we go. Done, diddly, and done. There's your portal coordinates for this one. The base, like I say, I'll have it all built out. It'll look freaking awesome. Hopefully by the time you come here. But that's every single ice fish done. Let's just go over to the catalogue. Let's double check that I'm not talking out my backside. Fishing records. Let's go across. Boom. Boom. Right. So this is where the ice fish start. Let's just jump over into this view. So these are all the small ones, I think. Small. 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 Yeah. These are all the small ones. Lovely. Medium size now. I've got a couple of larges here all in common couple of other smalls in uncommon sweet that one was a git yep the next page We've got all of these heck yes brilliant loads all caught cool I wonder what these ones are oh caught at night okay fair enough daylight hours caught cool. night time Okay, so there's still a lot of fish for me to get, people. Still a lot of fish to me to get, but we've now completed that area. I don't know what's going on there. Broken. A little bit of jank. Getting a lot, lots of little visual distortions inside of PlayStation 5 still. I think it's a little way from being completely fixed. Right, anyway, I'll get into making this a workable base, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, people, I've noticed that when I'm fishing inside these biodomes, it doesn't actually tell you the depth. So maybe that's what's happening. Maybe those people that can't see the depth are actually using the fishing glitch and fishing indoors and don't see the depth. There you go. This one is actually a 50 use one that I've just built here. Oh, my days. That cast just got me the ice blood gulper. Freaking awesome. There we go. Boom. 
Okay. Okay, charms. Now this one is actually 100 deep, mainly because I used my terrain manipulator and made it so deep. But yeah, hopefully you're going to be getting enormous and extremely large fish out of this one hole. Yeah, dug all the way down, put it on bedrock, build it all the way back up. And of course, it's got the biodome on, so it should protect you in storms. But this could be a good place to come to catch the storm fish all over the world. There we go. We just got the glacier carp. I found that really hard to catch on the previous planet as well. I'm getting all the good ones. OK, there we go. Done, dilly and done. Right, so I better give this power. I and mean, this one hasn't quite got power at the moment. So I'll just line up a few solar panels on here, I think, and then uh, connect it onto that little biodome. Yeah, why not? Okay, leave it with me, and I'll be right back. Okay, chum, so I've got three of these biodome type places here. I've got that one all the way over there, which is about 50 U's deep. See, it's fairly deep, not too bad. Yeah, so that one in there is a 50, even though you can't see the 50, it hasn't rendered in. And then this one that I'm standing on here is actually 100 U's. That's 100 deep. There you go, 100. And then that one over here is 25. And then the little one over at the end there is something like um, 0, 05. So 5. So there you go, people. I'll give you the coordinates one more time. There they are in the bottom left corner. If you want to come here, put down a base, do whatever you wish, blah, blah, blah. blah. This is a storm based ice planet, perfect for catching all your fish in whatever weather. Yeah, pretty darn freaking lovely. Right, well, I'm. Um, I'll stick us back into your normal mode, upload the base, and then um, I'd be ending off. So, yeah, all good. Well, there you go, chums. I've caught every single ice fish. That was a massive undertaking. That was harder than I thought it was going to be. I can see why people struggled with it, especially if you're after the storm ice fish, which I had to come to a completely different planet to. Kind of wish I did it all at this planet now. I've got all this set up so you can catch a small, medium, large and enormous fish here. So yeah, come here rather than the first planet. Unless you want a real relaxing time, catch the majority of the fish, then come here just for the troublesome ones. That might be a better way of doing it. But then again, all this is under shelter. You can fish through the actual ice doors that I've created in each of these. And I've added in a shed load of plants. If you do get low on the actual ingredients, lubricant, you can make your lubricant while you're here. Everything to make your lubricant is in the central hub. It's got a teleporter at it as well. It's got a galactic trade terminal to sell stuff, a nutrient processor to make even more baits, which I'm going to do after this stream. But there we go, people. That's everything I've got for you. Take care. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Steve Jobs.